I am Halla, Odin's firstborn, the commander of the legions of Asgard, the rightful heir to the throne and the goddess of death. We were once the seat of absolute power in the cosmos. Our supremacy was unchallenged, yet Odin stopped. She's birdie, SpongeBob. Women, warriors. When we look at the definition of what is a warrior, a brave or experienced soldier or fighter, so there's that. You know what's better than women? Warrior women. Warrior women are absolutely 120% peak. Make that 169%. You know, some guys might like a smaller girl next door type, maybe a 5'3 blonde type, but my taste is a bit more intense. What's your type? It time snoo snoo! Uh, uh, uh. BBTWW, big buff tall warrior women. I probably could have worded that better. What makes them so appealing and attractive? It could be a lot of things. The height, the physical body, the drive to attack and fight, the dominant attitude. I don't know how it exactly started, but I think one of the first examples that awoken something in me was this chick. Who are you? What have you done to I'm Hella. You see, that's the kind of chick that I would work and submit to. Well, you kind of have to submit or else you're just, you're, you're just fucking dead. Everything about this woman just screams dominate me. Those big horns that she wears, definition of style right there. Other examples include Wonder Woman, She-Hulk, Big Barda, Thundra. Big Barda to me seems like a second Wonder Woman. She's kind of underrated in my opinion. You know, some heroes like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman are like six foot. Big Barda is seven feet tall, like holy shit. Now that's what you call the ideal height. She's also got some pretty cool armor. There's a lot of badass chicks in armor. I don't know what's wrong with you. Casual night, you know? I think a woman showing up in armor for me would be like one of the best days of my life. That right there is better than your average date. There's also She-Hulk. Not that She-Hulk. That show can choke to death. This She-Hulk, the classic She-Hulk. She's buff, sexy, strong, could, could, could break your fucking bed. If a woman can break your bed, she's a keeper. If you don't want to look into the comic side of things, watch the Incredible Hulk show from the 90s. She-Hulk in that show is absolutely perfect. You won't regret it. It's leagues above this failed abortion. Infinitely more than you. One of my favorite images of her is the classic image of She-Hulk wearing the white torn dress. She looks like she came out of the Amazon forest and is ready to rip you in half. I also remember the comic where um, she got like a, a gang of like women to fight Red Hulk. And uh, it's classic. Okay, now we go from warrior aspect to mommy dommy territory. If you don't know what a mommy dommy is, look it up or watch my Huntress video. Watch it or else you fucking suck. Whenever I'm playing Dead by Daylight, there's three killers, Ghostface, Chucky, and Huntress. I use two different tactics when going up against these guys. Tactic one, just shit talk them. Tactic two, just... Just turn submissive. That tactic is only used against Mama Huntress. 99% of the time, it doesn't work. She's a caring but savage woman, would not want it any other way. My problem with Huntress is that I want to win the round and escape, but at the same time, I, uh, I just want to talk. Gotcha, bitch.
son of a bitch. <laughs> We then get to physical and buffness. You got strong muscles, abs. You see, that's hot on a woman. Although, don't do too much. It worked! A very strong, muscular woman cuddling around you would be one of the best things in the world. I remember I was watching Batman The Long Halloween. Good movie, by the way, part one and two. The villains you have in that movie are you got Two-Face, Joker, Solomon Grundy, you get it. Carmine Falcone is in this movie, and he has a daughter named Sophia, and holy fuck. Come on, you mother- Whoever decided to make her like this deserves a fucking raise. Give that man a higher paycheck. Shake his hand 47 times until he can't work it. This chick right here is the definition of muscle mommy. You know, since we're on the topic of muscles, there are some people that don't like strong women. Apparently, it is uh, gay to like women. I've seen topics like this where people say that if you like muscular women, you're gay. Y you know what I think? I think these guys are just fucking pussies. I sense cowardness. It sounds like they don't like the challenge. You see, if you put me in a pit where I have to find a partner, these other guys saying this are probably going to go after smaller women, you know, more easier pickings. Now, little me in the corner, I'm going to go after a tall chick that's built like the juggernaut. I mean, I'll probably get my ass kicked, but hey, you know, that's the thrill of it and what matters. I look at more of these posts, and the men that are saying this are the type to say that they're masculine and strong, but will literally get insecure over a woman being slightly taller than them. This is a warrior. Who is this? Uh, this is actually, um, it's just a cardboard cutout of, uh... Zap from the hit morning show American Gladiators. Ah, yes. She definitely belongs in your pantheon of heroes. Yeah, yeah. Even Knuckles, a fucking Sonic character, appreciates strong women. 